Hello and welcome to my first tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you how to connect Skype or any other application for that matter to Sam Broadcaster here for example. Now you will need a bit of software to do this. I know there are two ways of doing this. I'm going to show you the way with virtual audio cable. Um, it's software from here. I'll put the link in the description. Uh, latest version 4.1. Um, it costs money. You can get a free trial that works, um, although it does cost about $30, so you'll need to buy that first. Um, now that we've got that, what you need to do now is configure virtual audio cable. So what we want to do is open up the control panel and you've got two cables here you want two cables so that's all set up here so you can just do two cables set um, then just leave all the settings as default it should be fine uh, exit then you want to go back in to virtual audio cable and start um, three three of the repeaters so it's not the KS version which I know has changed since the last video I saw of this um, it's the MME version here you want to launch you want to launch that three times so actually I've got it I've got it here so I'll launch that again and again we go. so I've got three instances of those now what you want to do is configure the lines on here so first one you want line one you have your first audio cable to line two, your second audio cable. Um, then you want your microphone in, which in my case is going to be line in, um, and that will be going to line two. Now, um, you'll next want to have up here line one to speakers, which is going to be up there. Um, so you can go ahead and start all of those running. Now we've got some settings to change in SAM. Um, now we are going to go to configuration and we are going to go to the audio mixer pipeline. Um, this is the latest version of SAM, version 4.9. Um, it's fairly similar for the older versions, although there might be some like different slight differences, but just put me uh, leave me a message or something and I will see what I can do to help you with that. So we've got it set out at the moment. We want to keep the, the output. I made this mistake the last time your output device needs to be speakers. Um, OK, then if you go into configuration for your microphone, um, you want to have it set to line 2 because we're sending the microphone to line 2. There we go. So now, I've got all of that. Um, you want to go, go ahead and go into Skype. Um, and then you want to configure the microphone in there as well. It's sort of the same process that you've done in SAM. Um, it just you need to make sure so it's all linked up together. So now um, when Skype's launched, you go into, once it's um, signed in and everything, you go into, well, I'm doing, I'm going to go from call in straight into audio settings. So you've got it here. Then the audio settings menu should pop up in just a second. There we go. Um, and you want to select the microphone to your microphone and then speakers to line one. So you can do that. Then, then you can do um, a test call. Say you can try it with, say, Skype test call we've got here or um, a friend just to test that everything is working for you. Um, and then you can put it right into Sam. And then what will essentially happen is you have the microphone on and see we're talking now on Sam. And you essentially share, you, the person who's who you're on the call to essentially shares the microphone input. So whenever the mic's on, they can um, hear, they can go through um, and they can hear you talking as well at the same time. So you can talk to each other. Um, but the most important thing is to make sure if you don't want them on, either end the call or mute them. Otherwise, they will come through the mic as well as you. So that's basically how to connect Skype to Sam Broadcaster. Now, it does work for other applications as well. Say, for example, um, any specific music applications like Tractor or Virtual DJ, you can set the sound output to line um, one, and you can that will send it into the microphone for you. So you can basically attach any application to Sam Broadcaster. You can also, uh, if you go into queue, you can add a file. You can add any 
Well, not actually, not a, sorry, not a file. You can add a uh, mic slash line in, and you can select that from those there. So you can have a an input there. Um, if you want to just have, say, a continuous feed from Tractor or something like that. Um, you can also link different computers as well if you've got um, connections, but the problem is with this is mainly you have to buy virtual audio cable, whereas um, I know on OSX you can use um, Soundflower, which is free, so PC users are a bit of a disadvantage with that, but hopefully we'll find a free one soon. If there is a free one, I will update it so you could use that instead, um, although this is probably the best way and most high quality way to do it for the time being. I've tried it myself during a broadcast and it has worked perfectly fine. So there we go. Tutorial on how to make or connect Skype to Sam Broadcaster. Thank you very much for listening. Goodbye.